Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be part of a new series called Research Shorts, where I dive through some new up and coming nutrition and health research, explain it to you so that we are all informed. This is one of the benefits of being a registered dietitian. I'm very trained in reading through the research, knowing what's relevant, knowing what's not, and knowing if the study is worthwhile to listen to or not. So today is going to be all about the additive cellulose gum, which is found in a lot of different products. So this is a product that has been on the market and used as a food additive since like the 60s, way back when. And we've thought that it is safe because we excrete it in our feces, right? So whenever you have a bowel movement and you have cellulose gum, you excrete that. So we've thought, no big deal, that it's an additive, right? It's usually used as dietary fiber and it can be labeled as such on a label. So we thought that we just excreted it up until a new research study showing that this might actually not be as safe as we think it is. So at first glance on this new research study, it uses its formal name, sodium carboxymethyl cellulose or sodium CMC. So you might just keep scrolling or not really know what that means. So think it's not relevant to you because you've never seen that on a label, but sodium CMC is usually found on a label as cellulose gum or dietary fiber. So it can say either of those things and still be sodium CMC that they're researching. This is important because if you start checking your label, you're actually going to see this on a lot of different processed food products. So sometimes even our healthy ones are going to add dietary fiber in them, which might be from sodium CMC, and this is where it becomes relevant to you. So some research studies done on sodium CMC in mice show that the more that we have this cellulose gum, this sodium CMC in the mice's diet, it actually led to an altered gut microbiome, which further down the road led to things like colitis. It also led to things like colon cancer and metabolic diseases as well. So in order to recreate this in humans, because these different diseases take a long time to develop, what they actually did was looked for those gut microbiome changes. So they gave half of the participants an additive free diet and other half had this cellulose gum in their diet. And what did they notice? They noticed a significant microbiome changes in the people who had the cellulose gum in their diet versus those who didn't have any of the additives. So what does this mean? It means that maybe long-term down the road, it can lead to those further complications that we saw in the mice and humans. Of course, that is not the experiment they did, so we can't say that for a fact, but this research is relevant for us because we're gonna start seeing that and noticing that more on labels, and it's gonna be something that you wanna avoid because we should always be cautious of things that might have side effects, right? Even if we don't know 100%, if we've got a hunch that they might cause problems, there are so many alternatives without that additive. There are so many healthy, fresh foods we can have without that that definitely won't lead to that problem. So we should always be cautious and know what we're eating and try to avoid and limit our processed foods whenever we can. So this is the updated information on that food additive. I know I have a really popular video on food additives as well. That is not the one of the additives that I talked about in there, but wanted to give this quick update on research and kind of as um, a secondary video to that food additive one as well. If you have any questions or any um, research studies that you've seen lately that you want me to go over, leave them in the comment section below. 